Yeah, application cache and database. Okay, so we're down to our top two reason why HTML5 rocks. Uh, HTML5 rocks just because of the app cache, app cache and uh, database, the database, or the offline storage capabilities of the HTML5 markup language itself. So uh, currently, using HTML4, we have cookies. We also have we also have a cache. But it is different in HTML5 just because it has an app cache. An app cache basically does is uh, a cache for the applications. So applications that need uh, need data to be saved offline so that it can be used even though we don't have an internet connection. So so we can use those uh, data maski wala tayong internet connection. So uh, I have here a demo. So, so this demo uh, uses uh, HTML5 client side database storage API. So any node that you uh, write down, so uh, I'll write down hey, 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 A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay? So the the notes nga kung gitong suwat dire ma save ni sila sa application cache offline so even though wala ko internet connection i can still see that so for example close it out so in ordinary circumstances wala na tato siya but it's there um yeah so there so una agya po na ato notes it has been saved here in local sa cache niya this is very cool and uh, so yeah, hang. Oh, sorry. Okay. So from here, uh, uh, basically, basically, we have this. We have this application cache. Uh, the application cache. Uh, basically, we write down everything that we need. Uh, that needs to be saved locally so and from there uh, from the web server also things work kanisha uh, mga files must save locally so that kung well, maski wala ka internet malood di hapon natin siya kaya naaram siya sa cache the next time mo visit sa website uh, ma refresh lang to ma overwrite to ang mga karaan niya mga files pulihan o bago and still we have our files at on cache so uh, this this makes things faster and also more efficient and effective for people nga on the go uh, let's say for example mo add ko sa bukid karon and then i need those sticky notes i need akong nagbutang kog mga reminders na ko nito and then akong gidala akong laptop so wala internet connection so pwede na ko mutan aw sa ako ang mga sticky notes even though wala ko internet connection because of application cache second is the database so yes uh, since sa una ang atong gibuhat is that we use PHP um, and MySQL PHP MySQL together with HTML and CSS para mga create website which has database now makabuhat na tag database even in HTML5 itself lang so here we have uh, the parameter nga DB name, the version number, in case nga nakalain version sa katong database, and then provide a certain description, and then of course ang size. So this is total to five megabyte. Uh, usually, pili ta mag uh, add of function. Uh, I mean, line of code here para um, specify sa user if is it okay sa server. Uh, is it okay to uh, give 5 megabyte worth of uh, space? Kato ng user, mak makita siya nga uh, uh, hata, mga yu og 5 megabyte space ang katong nga website para sa ilahang database. Okay? And kanisya, uh, common nga SQL. So, most of us may nakaagi og database kamawa ni. So, how to 
get uh, dito is uh, currently na pa koy code so ako sa dito yung delete uh, drop na on table so currently clean slate so for example let we'll create a table so na natay table one test created and then from here we can add items so kani siya testing nani siya so we'll say add item one add item two add item three well, this is rendered in CSS 5, 6, etc. So, there. So, say delete this. So, ang kanisya nga mga SQL commands kay pariha ragya po niya sa regular SQLs that we use. So, delete, delete, and then drop table. Everything is gone. So, database is there. Very powerful tool together with app. Cache. That's why it's called number two in our top five reasons why it should be found.